What's up YouTube, Thrift Hunter here with this week's garage sale and state sale finds. I've made a video in a while, I'm gonna test this one out. Um, I shot this video already but the video uh, audio was not uh, working with me so I'm gonna try again. I'm trying to show you guys what I found. I'm just gonna kind of um, do this impromptu. I'm not gonna try and set up my whole uh, light booth and everything. I'm just gonna show you what I found this week. Uh, still, I'm going to probably go to garage sales tomorrow. Um, so if I get anything cool, I'll, show you, I'll try and show you guys. Um, so let's check out some of the cool stuff I found this week. All right. So again, bear with me here. It's going to be a little shaky. I'm testing out a bunch of new equipment. I've got a new camera, a new tripod, <clears throat> uh, some newer lights and, and all that thing. So uh, hopefully this will work out well. Uh, so I bought this um, little cloisonne, little jardinier thing. It was literally a dollar. I, I don't really like buying the uh, cloisonne stuff, um, but it was super cheap. <clears throat> uh, this is newer. Uh, something like this is only worth like maybe 25, 30 bucks at most. Um, I have it grouped together with some other cloisonne stuff um, that I have. <clears throat> so far it hasn't sold, but um, you know, it's just kind of too nice to pass up for the for the price uh, you'll see this stuff priced all the time super high so if it's like 75 bucks or something don't buy it unless it's I don't know really old and really nice because usually those things are kind of tough to sell um, I did buy some little opera uh, opera glasses um, I don't really like to buy these either but it's the the mother of pearl ones um, and it's signed and everything like that and they're in good condition so I, I bought them why not um, I did buy a couple of vintage glasses. Um, these ones have like a crazy strong prescription. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. Um, but these were like eight bucks or something. I don't really like buying glasses, but they're gold filled and they're nice. So I think, um, I already looked them up. They're worth like 30, 40 bucks. So people buy them. Um, I bought three pairs in total. Here's another nice pair. Um, I bought three pairs in total. Um, one of them might be sold already. So um, it's good news there. Um, this little thing, it's marked on the inside here, sterling. Um, it's real heavy. I don't know if it was a ring or if it was a pendant or what, um, but it's 18 grams. It's actually like super heavy. Um, that was like a dollar, so I picked that up. Um, today for $2, some uh, little earrings with the, I don't know, soda light or something, but they're not marked anything, so that's why they probably missed them, um, but they are sterling. Uh, there's an old pin. You guys know I like buying old pins. Let me zoom in a little bit. This thing doesn't do the best macro, and the um, autofocus is a little slow. But you can kind of, uh, you can't really see. Uh, focus thing. Focus, please. Please focus. No. Yeah. See it better now? Okay, now we can see it. So now I'm zoomed way in, because I want to show you the detail. Things that I look for is this type of clasp here. So you've got the C clasp and the old um, hinge. Um, again, this was like super cheap. I didn't pay a lot for this, but if you're wondering um, how to buy jewelry and what to look for, it's almost all the time it's about construction and about the pin back and about um, you know the, the metal it's made of and whatever um, here's something that I uh, want to touch on here and this is like a reason why I love buying jewelry is because something this tiny um, can be worth a decent amount of money so let's look at these uh, they are not diamonds I wish they were but can you guys see so it's silver on the the mounting here and then it's uh, actually 18 karat gold on the the lever back so it's got a little tiny eagle hallmark right there um, that is French for uh, 18 karat gold so this is something that I found the very bottom of like you know a bunch of junk earrings and whatever and if you find these at an estate sale or garage sale or something like no one's gonna know that this 
it, they're not even going to see this mark. The guy just looks at it. It's like, oh, give me a dollar or whatever. So, um, but these are actually French paste. Uh, so these are rose cut glass. Uh, you see the, the shape on the stone kind of, if I move my hand away. Um, so those are actually worth like, I don't know, 75 bucks, maybe a hundred bucks. Look up French Paste 18 karat gold, like you're, they're going to be a lot of money. So um, really nice quality and it's just tiny. I mean, it's like the size of a quarter. Um, so that's really what I love about jewelry. If you guys aren't buying jewelry, you should be buying jewelry. Um, just because something the size of the quarter can be worth a hundred dollars and like it's just easy. So I'm really happy about those. I, I know they'll sell because they've just got that look. They're hand, they're hand cut stones. Um, and they're really high quality, so, um, and they're from, like, the 1800s, and they're, like, French and, like, whatever, crazy. Stuff that pretty much no one knows about. No one's ever going to know what, what those are unless they're, jewel like, jewelry people. But um, just wanted to share that with you guys, really cool thing. Um, here is a, you know, Schaefer um, gold-filled pen, um, five bucks buy these all day long. I've been buying these things for years at five bucks. They're always, always, always five bucks. Don't ever pay more than five bucks. Five bucks is what they price them at. That's just how it is. Um, here's a really nice piece that I'm uh, really happy with. Uh, this is a Lisner piece. So let me grab the, the earrings. So matching earrings, the necklace isn't marked, um, but the earrings are. So I know for sure that this is um, also Lisner. And sometimes that'll happen, so don't be afraid. Like, so if these weren't with it, like, and you just have this and it's not marked or anything, like, don't be afraid to buy it. I mean, it was only a couple of dollars, so that makes it really easy because then you just grab it. But even if this was, like, eight bucks or something, don't don't shy away from it just because it's not marked. Look at the quality of it. It's got a really nice um, little, like, rhinestone ball on the end, and it's got a good color. There's none of the stones are missing, right? So... Um, just just things to, to remember um, that it doesn't have to be signed to be a designer piece necessarily. You have to look at the construction. How nice is it? Is someone going to buy it? Like someone's going to buy this. Um, actually, this is already sold. Um, one of my family members is going to take it because um, they loved it as well. I mean, it's, it's a really nice vintage piece that um, they're trying to recreate these days. I mean, um, you'll see these in like these fancy shops for like 50 60 bucks like all day long. So um, Really nice little Lisner piece. Um, I got this Really nice um, blue glass bead necklace anytime you see glass bead necklaces um, That like aren't plastic and are a good color like this just buy them I mean these sell for like 30 bucks probably this is like a $30 piece all day long it's 42 inches long uh, it's got cut little like um, rondelles or whatever they call these things, um, the little clear glass, and then it's got the blue glass, and it's heavy, and it's this was free. This was thrown in with some other stuff I bought with the glasses and whatever. So uh, you know, uh, if it's if it's free, I mean obviously that's um, easy. But if you're if you see glass bead necklaces that are big and nice and good color, like blue, pink, red. Um, you know, don't buy the brown and the orange and like those just are a lot harder to sell blue and clear all day long easy um, Easy like 30 bucks. Like I said um, Here's a couple of just like little bar pins um, So nice old bar pins again um, I Just buy anything that's old. So same thing. Um, it's got an older clasp here and uh, Again, this was like just kind of thrown in Here's like these little, the little um, lingerie pins. Again, nothing special. These aren't even gold filled, but it's got a C clasp and, uh, you know, it's just old. Anything that's antique, that's what I'm after, right? Because this is the kind of stuff that you can't, you can't just go out and buy it, buy something like that. So, um, but then this bar pin that I bought is actually, um, I am very, very sure that this is 14 karat gold. Um, not a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure I tested it and it holds 14 karat acid like like nobody's business. It's um, it tests as pure gold, uh, 14 karat as I can tell. Um, but nice little enamel flower pins, about three grams, so about 75 to 100 bucks. You see the little tiny air holes behind the thing. I've mentioned this before. Again, we're looking for quality construction. We've got the the larger style um, pin back here. So this is a 
like a bar style uh, hinge um, and a C clasp. So we can date this like pretty much to like 1900, 1920, like something like that. So it's a, definitely a true antique piece. Um, and here again, it is kind of black in color on the back here. So I get a lot, a lot of flack from people that say that like gold does not tarnish, like uh, 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 you'll never see it black. That is wrong. I guarantee you it's wrong. Um, this stuff is old. It gets dirty. It gets held. It's like, you know, I'm touching it. It gets oils on it. It gets like other junk. It's only 50% gold at 14 karat. You know, it's 585. Um, so it's not even pure gold. It's got some copper. It's got some nickel in it. And it's got, and, you know, it gets dirty. And so things, gold will turn black, like just over time. Like don't even, uh, I've gotten so many comments saying like gold just can never turn black. I guarantee you, you will find gold that turns black. Like, um, this is actually what I'm looking for because it shows signs of actual age and use. Like, somebody wore this every day for like 40 years with perfumes and oils and all this stuff. Like, it'll get dirty. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm not saying the gold gold itself is tarnishing. It's not tarnishing, but um, it does have a black appearance. So, um, be on the lookout for that kind of stuff. All right, so here's um, probably the best find um, this week. Maybe not. I mean, I've got some other stuff that's cool that I'll show you, but um, this was something that I saw at an estate sale for, I think, $10 and just grabbed it, like, right away. First thing I grabbed, and I knew easy that this is over $100. Um, this is what's called, like, a daguerreotype. I guess that's how you say it. Uh, basically, it's an old picture book, um, and these are made out of thermoplastic, and most of the time they get broken they get chipped um this one does have like a little bit of like edge damage um to it um but overall it's in really good condition um usually when you see these so first of all this the size so it's a little bit bigger of a size um i think this would be like a sixth plate or something they have like plate names for how big the pictures are uh, it might be a ninth plate i don't really know this stuff that well but um Anything with this thermoplastic thing, first of all, is like a plain designed one, just the case without even a picture, is probably worth like 40 to 50 bucks, just plain, like without this scenery on it. Um, just having this uh, nice scenery on the outside, like it's got a horse and this guy's got a gun and like kind of depicts the times that the picture was taken, um, that makes it worth more. So just having the design on just the case is like $100. And if it has an interesting picture, it's worth more than that. Um, I buy these things anytime I've ever seen them, um, except for one time, long time ago, there was an estate sale that had like maybe 20 of these. And I think I bought like one or two and I did really well on them. But some lady bought like all of them uh, because she knew right away what they were. I didn't really know this stuff that well um, at the time. And now I know from that experience pretty much, but I'll go ahead and show you the, the picture. Um, so this is like a mom and her four daughters. So it's cool. It's an older picture It's got like the the things that we're looking for in the pictures themselves is like things that are like indicative of the time So something like if we're uncovering some new information that we didn't know about like the past So it'd be like someone's got a crazy haircut or like someone's got like um a really nice piece of jewelry that like has a fancy design that you know Maybe someone hasn't seen before or something like that um, as far as this one goes, I would say it's nothing special as far as the, the picture itself. I mean, it is an antique picture, so it has like a little bit of value, but really, um, nothing exciting. I would think about this, like I could be completely wrong. Um, maybe it's the best one ever, but I don't think so. Usually anything with like a soldier, anything with like a guitar or like, some kind of weird like a po the po post-mortem ones like there's a werewolf one dracula ones like you know sideshow kind of stuff is like more interesting um it's got a nice you know little velvet liner and and sometimes behind the um picture you'll have the artist who took the picture and you'll have like uh, a date and maybe a description of who it's a picture of um but this one's like sealed so i don't want to take it out of this case um, but if it was falling apart, I would because sometimes he's like a lot of times he's cracking half and whatever It's like here's a plain side like more plain side um, Plain sided one got some junk on it uh, So if you found one that just looked like this It'd be like 50 bucks just automatically just for the case um, But since it's got this fancy design on the other side, I think it's gonna be worth 
right around 100, like 125, like if I want to sit on it for a while. So that was a cool piece. Um, what else did I get? Pearl, pearl necklace, um, 14 karat clasp. Paid like maybe three or four bucks for these. Um, really not really a fan of buying these most of the time honestly I just rip the clasp off and sell the gold um, because these cultured pearl things are pretty much worthless um, you if you want to sit on it you could probably get 30 bucks for it um, people think like oh but it's you know pearls but like I've done my spiel on pearls I think a hundred times now like 99.9% .9 of pearls on the world are cu cultured and um, anything at this size, like this is like a seven millimeter size or eight millimeter size, is literally made by the millions. Like these are not um, like some kind of rarity or anything like that. So it doesn't really have a lot of value. It looks very nice. They are like I would consider genuine pearls, but um, just in the real world, they don't have a lot of value because there's there's just a lot of them out there in the market. Um, I'll show you this. Uh, this is a little uh, Orphor's um, piece here, 25 bucks, a uh, little owl paperweight thing. So this weighs like five pounds. It's super, super, super heavy. And you can kind of see the signature through the back there. Um, so I'm not even going to try. Honestly, you can see it through the back. So it's got like this really long writing. It's got the artist names, got a date. It's from like the 70s. It's, it's an expo piece. Um, it's, you know, whatever for 25 bucks, it's signed as dated, it's got everything that you need. So for 25 bucks, you know, you could, um, I would look this up on eBay and it was like, someone had a listing for like $285 or something. Um, that's crazy price for this. Um, it's definitely not worth that much. Um, but I, I saw an auction that one sold for 40 Euro. So I think 50, 60 bucks plus shipping is very reasonable for this. Um, so that's why I bought it for 25. They had a bunch of Waterford and Baccarat and all this stuff, but that was overpriced that I wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole. Um, but the Aura 4 has got a good collector base. Um, it's got a name attached to it, so it's got searchability. Um, it's a heavy, so you know it's quality. It doesn't have chips, doesn't have scratches. So 25 bucks, um, I will buy it. Hate buying glass, but in this case, I will buy it. Um, let's. See, I've got some uh, random jewelry. I don't even remember what's in here. Let's take a look. I'll show you guys. I'll dump it out if I can do it one-handed. There we go. Uh, what is this stuff? Oh, I was looking for that. Whoops. Um, this was... I bought this piece I know. So this is sterling. This was at a little junky garage sale with literally nothing there, but sterling silver with a little, you know, glass link thing. It's it's nice. Um, that was a dollar. Hold on, I think they said fifty cents, and I was like, here's a dollar. I'm just gonna go now. Um, and then I bought this, which is like a red jasper, and it's gold filled. Got these nice little gold filled links. Again, a dollar or two. Um, and the rest of this stuff is just some old stuff. Like, see the pearl. Things. I just rip the gold off of them and leave them and then there's some other silver stuff. So there's that and then here's some other junk I bought recently This is kind of I think I bought just some um, junk jewelry grab bags I'll show you um, So here's a cool like big lion pin uh, Nothing special, but nice, you know, someone will buy it um, This was like an older you know, painted eagle pin. So if this was like um, marked something, like if this was Coro patent pending or something like that, it'd be worth a decent amount. Um, but like this, not worth much, but neat. Um, some other random junk. This was in there. This is a sterling thistle brooch. I do like buying these, but this one is missing the pin stem, which is why it was in the junk pile. Um, but still, nice piece of sterling. I didn't pay much for it. Um, some little sterling little earrings and stuff like this stuff like honestly I don't even I don't even really mess with that much anymore this like little silver stuff like if I see if I go to a, a garage sale and like all they have is these like little sterling earrings I'm not even gonna ask honestly because they're worth like a dollar or something and if they ask a dollar for it then I can't buy it so um, usually I just avoid those uh, here's uh, just a little pin I think that's gold filled 
Um, I bought this little um, little pocket watch. It's a it's an Elgin, it's just a nickel case, like nothing, and it's broken and whatever. But like, I was like, how much? And they're like, oh, it's broken, three bucks. And I'm like, okay, well I'll take that for three bucks because you can. Um, a lot of people steampunk this stuff and whatever. And some people fix them and or need pieces off of it. So I could still get like twenty, twenty five bucks just for that busted up, broken thing. Little pieces of I think fake fake jade stuff um but there's that and there's like a little watch in there and whatever so I'll, I'll just some junk and some other you know jewelry stuff my usual all right so i also got this uh little bonsai pot um something that i've kind of gotten interested in lately um i've been doing a lot of gardening since the last video i made so which was probably a long time ago um, but I've been doing a bunch of gardening, and I've been doing a little bit of uh, watching bonsai people on YouTube. Uh, so I kind of wanted to get into it, and I didn't have... Uh, I had some pots. I mean, you can do it in any pot, really. But um, to make them look really nice, you have, like, these these special um, bonsai pots. You're not supposed to put them in these first. You're supposed to grow them in something else, then trim them down and whatever. But... Um, <clears throat> these things are really expensive and really hard to find, so I was really happy when I found this. Um, this is a special clay. It's like a high-fired clay. It's got special drainage holes in it. Um, you can tell that this one's pretty old. Uh, it does have a, a maker stamp on the bottom. It's got really nice feet. Um, it's just a perfect size. Paid two whole dollars for this. Um, definitely something to look out for at estate sales is... Um, Really nice pots, really nice plants. Um, uh, they can be quite expensive and a lot of the times priced really cheaply because this was covered with, you know, with cobwebs and rocks and dirt in it. And like, there's like, oh yeah, two bucks for that. I'm like, all right, cool. So I picked that up uh, and really happy with that purchase. It's worth about a hundred bucks, this, this pot here. Um, and then I am going to keep it and I've got my bonsai soil ready all i need is a tree to put in here i'm um, still working on that i've just got to find the right uh, piece that i want to grow for a long time uh, but really nice soil got that off of amazon we're gonna see how that works uh, so yeah really really nice thing kind of unusual not a lot of people know about or a lot of people look for um, but this is really really nice pot so i'm um, glad to pick that up all right. Um, and the last, the when I shot this video originally, I took all this stuff out and showed you guys. But this is all listed and whatever, so I'm not going to take it all out. But um, Nintendo 64, two controllers, console, um, and then a bunch of boxed games. So Star Fox 64. There's a, a Diddy Kong Racing in there. Uh, there's a GoldenEye 007. A bunch of wrestling games. A bunch of sports games. Um, Fifteen bucks for this stuff. I haven't seen N64 in probably like two years in garage sales and state sales. You just never see it because it's just gone right away. Um, but this was there at like the end of the day and it was 15 bucks. So I've already got that listed on eBay. Um, I have had a couple of offers for like 115 ish is that been my offers. Um, but it hasn't sold yet because a lot of people are kind of bugged out that I haven't tested anything. Um, I, my TV doesn't even have input for this stuff um so i don't even have a way of testing it i'm just kind of selling it as is for more for like the boxes systems controllers right like it's a nice big package deal stuff doesn't work or whatever just return it if you're not happy with it but as long as i'm sure most of it works it's got all the games in there most of them have manuals there's you know all kinds of stuff so for 15 bucks that was great um here is some uh marbles I really don't like buying marbles, but I just, I mean, this was, um, this was $2 for the bag, and, um, and for whatever reason, my marble video on YouTube is, like, one of my most popular, I have no idea, you guys are crazy, but, uh, <laughs> these were all in really good condition, I like the condition, and I know to look for the little, you know, swirly, like, the little bumblebee, and the little, like, you know, there, there's definitely some, some nice marbles in here, um, you guys will see, like, you know, and my main thing was the condition, so usually when I see these, they're all, like, chipped up and whatever, um, but these were not, like, you've got some of the solid reds, there's, like, a metal, I guess it's, like, the shooter ball or something, I don't know, um, there's some bigger ones with some nice swirls in them, um, 
yeah, definitely some good quality marbles. Not really my specialty. Um, but, you know, if it's a good deal, I'm gonna, I have to buy it. Like, it's almost like I can't not buy it. So, um, pick those up for, like I said, I think $2. Um, there's some, some really cool ones in there. If you guys want me to, sh like, really show you in, in detail all of these, if they're, like, I don't know, some crazy ones. But I, I know they're not. Um, because the, the ones you really want are, like, the German swirl ones that are worth, like, $100 a piece. Um, which these are not. These are just your standard, whatever, acro, agates, and stuff. So... Uh, bought those pretty good deal. I'll probably sell the whole lot. I'll be surprised if I get like more than uh, 30 or 40 bucks for the whole bag. I think I still have the ones I from my old old video, so I may put those all together and try and get rid of them. But I'll have to look into that. Um, let me show you. Let me grab it over here. Oh, yeah. Let me get the light back. So I did buy a bayonet. Um, I paid $85 for this. Uh, it was not that great of a deal, apparently. Um, these only go for like 50 to 150, kind of depending on the condition and stuff. This one does have the the scabbard and uh, is in pretty good condition. It is dated 1875. Um, this is called like a French gross sword uh, or gross um, bayonet. And uh, it's a big heavy, it's got signs and stamps and all kinds of stuff. It's nice. I never see bayonets ever, so when I saw one and it was priced kind of reasonably, I bought it. Um, but it is going to be a pain to ship and I probably won't make much money on it, but I'll enjoy it while it's here. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, what else do I have? There goes my light again. I'm going to show you this. Um, so I bought this thing an estate sale and I thought it was neat um, it's a big uh, golf trophy so I uh, bought this this golf trophy because I think it may be sterling silver still not a hundred percent sure but so first of all the weight is right like it's 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 a really light piece um, and it is marked so we are gonna hope this focuses, which it probably won't. But right there in this corner, maybe, maybe, bring the light over. It's making it worse. Anyway, there's little characters there, and then there is little characters, so let me see. There's also little characters right there and I just know from my experience with silver that whenever you see like um this is where they mark typically mark silver is like right here at the base and um sorry I'm trying to get to focus it's got the right sound to it um it's got the right weight uh I took it apart and tested it and uh it tests the silver for me I'm gonna retest this again and do it really deep. I tested it up uh, up here on one of the corners and it tested as silver and it sounds like silver. I mean, it's uh, it's really nice, but why would you make it out of sterling as a, for a golf trophy? I don't know. Um, but it's got like all kinds of markings and it's got like a letter from the, the golf club and it's got like a little congratulations, you're the victor kind of thing. So I paid $20 for it. It's got this nice case it's everything but um so far no one's really biting on the uh the bids like no one's really interested in it so it makes me think maybe it's silver plated and that's like really the only reason that i could find that it would be um but to me it's got the right design so if you know anything about um and it's from hiroshima japan uh so if you know what those if those characters say silver if they say silver plated let me know if you can even see them with my uh terrible camera uh, but really nice um, presentation box and everything. We'll see if I can sell it. I think I've got it up for like two hundred dollars, and uh, I don't know, n not really any interest. So um, we'll we'll keep you posted on that. So yeah, that's um, that's kind of gonna be my video for today. I uh, just wanted to show you guys what I found because I did find a couple of cool things. Um, you know, I 
I've been going to a lot of sales. I went to like seven or eight estate sales today and they were just overpriced. Like anyone that had good stuff was way, 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 way overpriced. Um, so, you know, I wasn't really buying much. I've been trying, but silver, like $15 an ounce is the price of silver. You cannot price your jewelry over the price of the price of silver because it's most of it's just common stuff like chains and bracelets and stuff. I see so many like Figaro bracelets at like $30 and stuff that are small and like rope bracelets at like $25. Like you cannot price your silver that high anymore because the stuff's just not worth it anymore. It was worth that at one point, but it's just not anymore. So I've been having a tough time buying silver, but the costume stuff still no one cares about. No one knows about for the most part. Um, you can find good costumes still. So I've been buying a lot of that. Um, so please, you know, uh, leave me a comment, like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.